this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Dogo Argentino also known as Argentine Mastiff and a Boer Bull also known as the South African Mastiff, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's compare these two big dogs who often appears in the top list of dangerous dogs worldwide. An Imitation Factor an adult male Dogo Argentino stands at a height of 24 to 26 inches at the withers, and weighs between 40 to 45 kilograms. They are large, powerful, athletic, muscular dogs with long legs. The Dogo gives the impression of explosive power and energy, whereas an adult male Boer Bull stands at a height of 24 to 28 inches at the withers, and weighs between 70 to 90 kilograms. They are large muscular and stocky dogs with powerful jaws and squared off muzzle. In our opinion a Boer Bull appears to be more intimidating than a Dogo Argentino. So one point to Boer Bull. Dogo Argentino 0 Boer Bull 1. Powerful and loudest bark. Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. <coughs> In our opinion the Dogo Argentino has a powerful bark and it's a lot louder than you think. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 1 Boer Bull 1. Bite Force. A Dogo Argentino is said to have a bite strength of 500 psi. On the other hand, a Boer Bull with its sheer size and power tops out at around 640 psi. So with approximately 150 psi difference, the winner here is the Boer Bull. So one point to Boer Bull. Dogo Argentina 1 Boer Bull 2. Temperament. Both the breeds are known to be reliable, trustworthy and loyal and form strong bonds with their families becoming totally devoted to them. They are a demanding breed and boast having strong protective instincts. However in case of a Dogo Argentino there is a substantial increase in the cases wherein they were involved in attacking, biting and causing fatal or near fatal injuries to their owners in US. In our opinion a Boer Bull has a better temperament as compared to a Dogo Argentino. So one point to Boer Bull. Dogo Argentina 1 Boer Bull 3. Intelligence and Trainability. Both the breeds are intelligent and they like nothing better than to please their owners. They respond well to positive reinforcement training with a dominant pack leader. As such in the right hands and with the correct amount of socialization they are easy to train and easy to handle. However a Dogo Argentino is more eager to learn, making them easier to train as compared to a Boer Bull. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 2 Boer Bull 3. Lifespan. The average life expectancy of a Dogo Argentino is in between 10 to 15 years, and that of a Boer Bull is in between 10 to 12 years. So the winner here is the Dogo Argentino. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 3 Boer Bull 3. Exercise and Energy Levels. The Dogo Argentino and the Boer Bull are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department, and ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. They also need to be given a tremendous amount of mental stimulation, and preferably one that involves playing interactive games with a dog. However, other things being equal, a Dogo Argentino is far more energetic as compared to a Boer Bull. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 4 Boer Bull 3. Friendly with kids and other pets. Both the breeds are known to be good around children of all ages, more especially if they are well bred, even tempered dogs. However care has to be taken when they are around children especially toddlers who may not yet have been taught how to behave around dogs. Both the dogs can show aggression towards other dogs and pets which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly and that no pets get stressed out which could lead to aggressive behavior. However a Boer Bull is more tolerant of kids as compared to a Dogo Argentino. So one point to Boer Bull. Dogo Argentino 4 Boer Bull 4. Good choice for first time owners. Both the dogs are a demanding breed and can make a delightful companion for a strong, experienced owner. They are better suited to people who are familiar with their needs and who has enough time to dedicate to training their dogs. So one point to both. Dogo Argentino 5 Boer Bull 5. Average cost to keep and care? 
the average cost to keep and care for a dogo Argentino would be $150 to $200 a month and that a Boer Bull would be $180 to $230 a month, so with low cost to keep and care 1 point to Dogo Argentino, Dogo Argentino 6 Boer Bull 5, so the winner between the two big dogs is the Argentine Mastiff, Dogo Argentino.